was being a windmill. The friends. You scared yourself. I didn't expect that. Ooh, at the end. <laughs> stunt action like being a windmill and it didn't go over so well. Stunt people do windmills a lot where, yeah. where, where you're from? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right the friends in this video I'm going to share my 10 low calorie food swaps for easy weight loss. I've lost 130 pounds so has Sassy my husband behind the camera. We've kept it off for six years and at the beginning of our weight loss journey, we had a lot of weight loss, a lot of health problems, and we knew we needed to lose weight, but we didn't want to give up our favorite foods. So low calorie food swaps like these helped us look forward to what we were eating while eating in a calorie deficit so that we could lose the weight but stay on track. So let's get into it. First one, pop. I was drinking seven full sugar cans of pop every single day and it was about 140 calories a can. Here I have a mini can. These are 80 calories for a mini Canada Dry. 80 for that. So it was like 140 for a big one. 80 or zero for a big can of diet. Sorry, that was the French side. So pop for zero calorie. Next, ground beef. Kyle and I love tacos, burgers, quesadillas, fajitas, anything that you can put beef in. But ground beef, four ounces of it is 200 calories. Or you could switch to four ounces, um, you're probably like, what is this? <laughs> four ounces of lean ground turkey, which is 150 calories for four ounces. And if you season this with taco seasoning or whatever seasoning you want, you won't even notice the difference. We make burgers with this, tacos, everything, and we don't even miss the beef. It really tastes well, really good when you season it. Let's say you're on a diet and you're craving a Big Mac or maybe a Baconator. Oh. <laughs> You could maybe eat the Kaledinator from the new guilt-free cookbook. The link is in the description <laughs> down below. <laughs> Next, bacon. Kyle and I ate bacon for a snack when we were our heaviest weights and we didn't want to give up bacon. We loved it. So <laughs> that's pretty much all these food swaps here. That was one of the biggest reasons we didn't lose weight is because we were under the belief that you had to give up your favorite foods. And then we realized like the swaps that we made taste almost as good, like an eight out of 10 to the real thing. And we give ourselves the real thing sometimes, but most of the time we stick to the low calorie ones because they're so good. And so we ran out of real bacon um, because we don't eat it very often. So this is my picture, maple bacon. <laughs> Those are bacons, okay? Yeah, I got that. Two slices of maple bacon is 200 calories. Although if you didn't have the label, like if it didn't say maple bacon, I don't know if I'd know what those were. Drumsticks? <laughs> like for drums, you know, like, yeah. Yeah. Or you can have two slices of chicken bacon for 70 calories. And chicken bacon is super tasty, actually. Not. We don't miss out when we eat that. And chicken bacon doesn't look like this. But look, look, it's really close. You guys tell Sassy that that looks pretty darn close, okay? <laughs> tell them in the comments, Sassy, it looks like that. <laughs> they will, they'll <laughs> tell you. Next. I'm always wrong in the comments. <laughs> it doesn't yeah, matter what it is. is always right. <laughs> Guess what? Ice cream is the next one. We, ice cream is like our favorite treat ever. One of these Chapman's ice cream cones is 220 calories. For, you know, you know the size, they're not really that big. Or you can have three quarters of a cup of a low calorie ice cream like Halo Top for anywhere from 120 calories to 150 calories. So that's a lot more ice cream 
for way less calories. Or you could have Oreo protein ice cream or pumpkin pie anabolic ice cream. Or buttery fingers ice cream or chocolate peanut butter cup ice cream from the guilt-free cookbook. <laughs> Next. Sweet and salty popcorn. I love sweet and salty stuff. And this Orville Redenbacher sweet and salty kettle corn, you get six cups for 190 calories. Or you can have an entire bag of the 94% fat-free Smart Pop, which is like eight and a half cups popped with some zero calorie sweetener and cooking spray for the same calories for 200 or for 200 calories and if you're which, making low calorie kettle corn don't forget this too. oh yeah you need a little bit of salt but seriously guys it really doesn't taste much different we've been making this a lot lately and it really satisfies our craving and 200 calories for eight and a half cups of this of our version or only six cups of this one for almost 200 calories I choose this one. We like more food. More food for less calories. That is what we love. Syrup, regular pancake syrup. This is 10% maple syrup. Four tablespoons, 220 calories. Not even including pancakes, just for the syrup. Or you can have four tablespoons of the Walden Farms pancake syrup. Now it does say zero calorie on it, but keep in mind when something says zero calorie, it'll still have a few, but the companies don't have to put it up to a certain percentage. So I'm gonna say four tablespoons for under 25 calories for this one. Okay, so that's a huge difference. Saving yourself a lot, you still get your pancakes with your syrup, but you're saving hundreds of calories. Yeah, it shouldn't feel like you're losing out when you're dieting or no. trying to lose weight. This is how we keep it fun. And this stuff really does taste like real pancake syrup. It's pretty darn close. Next, I'm Italian, so I love bread. Buns. I was a bread and butter fanatic. I still am. I'm a buns guy too. <laughs> Bean shaker. <laughs> <laughs> so pretzel bun. This pretzel bun is 280 calories for one of these buns. And they're not that big. No, they're not big buns. They're it's little buns. Little buns. It is, you can't even shake those buns. They're so little. For 280 calories. Or you can have a whole English muffin for 130 calories. Or two slices of regular great value bread for 170 calories. So. Bread is just as good as the How much is margarine. that pretzel bun again? 280 calories. Almost 80? Almost 300 calories for, for a that. Bun? Yes. Or for 200 you could have two slices of toast and two teaspoons of light margarine. That's crazy. Yeah, that is nuts. Saving yourself a ton of calories and you still get the bread craving. Out. Next, cookies and brownies. So, cookies and brownies, you could have one of these, and this is literally the size, it's very small, for 140 calories. And we just had a treat day, and believe me, those are very good. They're very good. But we don't wanna eat them all the time, they're just too high in calories. They're amazing, they're actually, they're really good, but for 140 calories, for one cookie, one. I like a lot of food, I like to eat, and that is not enough. So you can have one cookie, for 140, or you could have a whole bag of these mini cookies for 120 calories. Or, I drew a picture, you could have one of our baked, <laughs> soft baked picture. chocolate chip cookies from our guilt-free cookbook for 105 calories and save yourself a lot of fat and it has extra protein in it. Brownie-wise, this is crazy, okay? Kyle and I ate one of these on our treat meal day one, I want to show you the size. This is how crazy this is. Do you remember how many calories was in the pretzel bun? 280? Yes. That's how many is in this brownie. 280 calories for this. Or you could have... Or buy our friggin' cookbook. Well, actually, <laughs> or buy our friggin' cookbook. Thanks, Greg, for the words. Um, fudgy brownie from our cookbook is 112 calories for a very large Maybe brownie. Maybe I'll insert a picture because... The picture of that looks 
<laughs> better than your Picasso brownie drawing. You love my drawings. Or you could have an entire package of these mini brownie bear paws for 140 calories or a fiber one brownie for 90 calories. Yeah, so and you don't have to like switch from what you're eating now to like only eating organic kale for every meal. No, you if you have a brownie craving, there are tons of ways to get it out. These really taste like a brownie, and if you want a warm one, like it just came out of the oven, just microwave it for a few seconds. They're it good. Really does. They're not as good as our brownies, but they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Um, yeah, our brownies, and like, and they're not as good as my drawings either. But anyway, chocolate. I love chocolate. Chocolate is like my favorite thing. Nine squares of this arrow bar, guys, is 220 calories. Just nine pieces. 220 calories. Or you can get, and we're not sponsored by any of these foods. This is what we actually eat because it, we like it. You can have a pure protein protein bar. This one is the Oh, sorry, that's the French side. This one is the car chocolate peanut caramel, which tastes pretty close to a, a Snickers. It's 200 calories. Oh, sorry, it's 190 calories, and it's got 20 grams of protein. So the protein is actually going to keep you super full because protein lowers your hunger hormone ghrelin, and it tastes like a chocolate bar. So you get less calories, less fat, more protein and it tastes like a chocolate so bar. our philosophy in weight loss why we've been able to do it so long this would be an item that we have every day yeah. this is an item we still have we don't remove it but this is about you know once a month oh i brought another chocolate alternative to show you mini chocolate chips we have quite often we just had them in our protein ice cream actually mini chocolate chips now I like the mini because one tablespoon goes a long way. You get a lot of mini chocolate chips in one tablespoon for only 70 calories. It's a great way to get out your chocolate craving. I pretty much eat these every day because I love chocolate and I don't want to miss out, but I don't want all the extra chocolate calories like from this every day. Then the last one, Cheetos. I like love cheesies my entire life and Cheetos 37 pieces, that's it, 37, for 280 calories. What's with the 280 calories? <laughs> Maybe there's, they like did research that there's a limit that people will eat. So you could have 37 cheesy things, Cheetos, for 280 calories, or you could have 37 of these cheese trio goldfish for 90 calories. Or you could have 74 of these goldfish for 180 calories. So you're saving yourself 100 calories, you get way more goldfish, and you're getting your cheesy, crunchy craving out. Cheesy, salty, crunchy craving out. And these are amazing, by the way, and they come in a ton of flavors. Kyle and I eat these all the time because you get a lot for a little calories. We sprinkle them in our popcorn sometimes. Yes, we do, and we make a low calorie snack mix like that. So the friends, this is how Kyle and I were able to lose 130 pounds and keep it off for six years. And these food swaps are helping us get in the best shape of our lives. I am in my first size small and first size five ever. Whoa. Because, because we eat what we love. We get our food cravings out with low calorie versions and we give ourselves the real thing every once in a while. That is how we do it. And if you want all your favorite food without the guilt and the extra calories, check out our new cookbook. The link is down below. Also, if you want to know exactly what we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, the links are down there. We have two weight loss guides, exact portions, exact meal plans, and family friendly recipes that we use to lose the weight. And, or you can watch these two videos for free and then we're gonna lawn more it out. I cut the lawn in free mows. And. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that was funny today. <laughs> because I'm funny. And this is a beam PG for YouTube. We're gonna shake it to their mom made it. Love you. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell so you can see more of this. More Picasso drawings. Oh, they love it. They love the drawings. Bye guys. Love you. Thanks for watching. See ya. Peace out.
I'm gonna pop one in my head. <laughs> no comment. Goodbye. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Bike through it. <laughs>